I think it was thinking more about the customer all the time and giving as much value as I could. Um, back when I was working in gyms, I just thought it was about getting people strong in the hour that they were with me. Um, but I think now it's more about there's 168 hours in the week and I want to be there for them as much as I can. So the online platform, mm. I can give them recipes, I can give them mindset exercises, I can interact with them on a daily basis. So they don't need to be physically with me. Uh, it's not three hours a week in the gym anymore. It's 168 hours from home. Which is where social media comes in. Yeah. And you don't, you don't even have a website, but no. you've built this on Facebook. It's all organically, well, yeah. organic. Facebook initially. and other social media. Yeah, I mean, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. Um, I use some of them more than others. I have an email list of about 25,000. Um, and how, how, with the Facebook thing, I just thought people are on Facebook all their life anyway. Mm -hmm. And my type of clients, you know, uh, again, women 25 to 45, that's where they spend their time. So it doesn't make sense to take them away from there. Now it does with the way things have gone with Facebook. It's a little bit different and moving to the membership style site, but I'll still use Facebook. So Yeah, tell me now. about that. Now you you say, okay, you've gone so far with mm. social media yeah. and now it's time to get your own domain, your own website. Yeah, time to evolve. I mean, I should have had it for a while, but what it did worked. And um, now it's, I don't want to be reliant on any platform outside of my own because you know you hear people complain about the way social media has gone or this is changing and that's changing i don't think you're right to complain you just change your strategy and you change your approach because me complaining about facebook the way facebook's gone it doesn't help me move forward you know so it makes I, I step back and i say well how can i leverage things i can get as many people from my facebook page who already trust and like me get them on my email list email them tell them about my new website and the free free cookbook they can get my website and that's that moves me forward it doesn't it's about empowering yourself. You shouldn't be, you know. Facebook have their own business to run. They don't owe you anything. Absolutely not. Yeah, it's we're all in business, and I mean, Facebook's great. You know, it's, it's I still get a lot of business from it and everything else. It's just you, you gotta, you gotta understand. You know, as a small business, you mm. still have to put a bit of money into marketing. Mm. You just gotta be clever. You gotta learn how to, how to do the ads so you're bringing the right people in and you're getting the return on investment.